They say this is the speaker that will blow your mind. And it was also said that you could throw your Google Home and any other smart speaker in the trash. Well, I don't know about that. Well, let's find out. Let's get into it. So I picked this Google Nest Audio up from Best Buy for the price of $99. And uh, if you could remember when the Google Home came out, first came out, it was uh, priced at around $130. So when I saw this product, I was like, you know, I wanted to try it out. And for the price, I couldn't, I didn't feel like I can go wrong. So with all the talk and all the uh, reviews about it, I wanted to see for myself, see what the talk was all about. So, yeah, let's open it up and see what's in the box. This one hand and camera thing, I, I tell you, it's tricky. But maybe I'll be able to get it done pretty quick. So, yeah, when you open the box, voila. You're looking at the speaker here, of course. And when you... When you feel it, it has the same material on the front that the uh, Google Home and the Google Home Mini have on it. The same feel. But I tell you, this thing here, is, is, it's heavy. This thing is really heavy. So when you turn it over on the back, it has the mute button and the, the nice Google logo on the back. And it has the power cable adapt plug on the back and it's like inserted inside I guess to protect it from shortage or anything like that so I mean I of course when I bought this this was the only color they had so I, I didn't have a choice but to get this one so I liked it this color anyway. If I, I think if they had another color, I probably would have went with this color anyway. So, yeah, they said it's, it's supposed to adapt to your environment. So, it's supposed to uh, be able to adapt to your, your settings. You know, if you like your volume up a certain certain uh, loudness or whatever, it sets, set it at the way that you like it. So, that's pretty cool about it. So, yeah, pretty much the same as, as the other, uh, the Google Home. You can uh, have the app, the Google Home app that you can pair it to. And you basically operate it through the app. And, uh, you know, you can check your weather. You can request music. You can make phone calls, set time of the alarms. You know, you can do all that all hands free. So, it's definitely going to help me out, you know, out in my studio. So, yeah, when you open this up, it has the power cable. And the power cable is. Has a pretty smooth finish. Has the two prone electrical plug on the back. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty standard. So, yeah, on the front here, it doesn't display any power buttons, but. Just like the Google Home and the Google Home Mini, it has the, the buttons on the inside. You can't feel them, but as you have it plugged in, you can touch it and you can volume up on, on one side and volume down on the other side. So I think that's pretty cool to have a pretty smooth, sleek finish on the front with no buttons. But you can also access it by touching the, touching the, uh, the Nest Audio by hand. So that's a pretty pretty uh pretty good deal just just as as the Google Home. And like I said, it also has the mute switch on the back. So you could mute your audio from the device itself or you can also mute it from your smart app. So yeah, that's a pretty good idea. And as advertised, the uh volume is is 75% louder than the Google Home Google Home and uh, the bass is 
like 50% stronger than it. So you should be able to get some pretty good sound out of it. Uh, I can't wait to get into the sound, the clarity of it. They also uh, said that the audio is, is clearer than the Google Home. So, you know, like when you turn your volume up real loud, it kind of muffles the sound and kind of, you know, jam all the music up together. Well, the the uh, Nest Audio, it doesn't do that. It keeps the sound in the clarity so at high volume. So I was pretty, pretty interested in trying that out also. So uh, if you don't have the uh, the Google Smart app, all you need to do is go into the uh, Google Play Store and download your your uh, your Google app, and it works right off the Google Google app. You know, you could use it to uh, play you some music or make requests to make a phone call or whatever. So yeah, I I think it's gonna look nice in my studio with this color and all. So I mean, if 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 I had to recommend this speaker by just looking at it and not hearing anything about just appearances with the weight and all uh seems like it pretty it's built pretty pretty heavily and not cheaply made i would say just by looking at it i'll say go you know go ahead and get one so these are these are the instructions comes with an instruction booklet but i mean I don't think anybody really used that nowadays. I don't. Everything is pretty much self-explanatory. Not to knock the ones that do look at the instruction, but uh, it's, everything pretty much set up the same. So, yeah, this is the the Google Nest Audio. And uh, I'll be coming back. If uh, you have any questions, you can... Uh, you know, send me some questions below, but if uh, I may do another video on the sound, the sound quality, let you guys hear it. So, but uh, I shall thank you for watching my video and please subscribe. And like I said, I'm a growing channel and I'm getting a little better every day. So please uh, stick with me and, and watch my channel grow. Help me grow. Thank you and have a blessed day. Okay, I was coming back to show you the sound quality and the controls on the Google Nest. This is the pause button in the middle. This is the volume up. This is the volume down. It's pretty neat. So yeah, you could use your hand, hand controls on, on the, uh, the Nest Audio itself, or you could use it via the app. And this is the sound quality. It's definitely a step up from the Google Home. Here we go. Yeah, that'll get you up and get you moving in the morning. So yeah, uh, I would say it's definitely a good buy for $99. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm already liking it. So yeah, please uh, please subscribe to my channel, guys, and uh, please like. If you have any questions, please leave your comments at the end, at the bottom, and I'll, I'll get back to you. Thank you. I'm